Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of 10-Minute Drawing Techniques. Um, the focus of today's episode is on how do we start a drawing. So, how do I plan things out? Uh, and, and I know there are probably some people out in the audience who think it's okay to draw that plan. And this is why we can't have nice things. So, there are seven major aspects to a drawing that need to be planned out before we, uh, we can get started. Now, I know a lot of people tend every time every time I'm on a lot of online forums, uh, people like to talk about line quality, how nice those lines are, how nice they swoop and how nice they curve. Um, I'm not so much obsessed about line quality. Like they they think you know things won't look pretty and professional without line quality, but I'm not so obsessed about line quality as I am obsessed about line placement, because you can't have nice line quality if you don't know where the line should go. It's like, you know, some people, they, they go and they, 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 they fiddle, 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 fiddle to try and get a nice line, but they they forget about where that line should be going. So usually, you know, you wind up with drawings that are kind of distorted and messed up. So if you want to get nice lines, you need to know, you know, where do they start, where do they end, and just, you know, where are all the key points that the line fits through, you know, so you can just you can hit the line much nicer. So important to know, you know, where does the line go? But then that begs the question, um, you know, where do we place a line? Well, we don't know where the lines should go if we don't know where their forms are. And by this, I mean that lines are used to describe forms, right? So this form of my hand, the forms of my hand, if we know where my hand is sitting in space, you know, we know where these forms are, then we'll have an idea of how what you know how how these how that affects the lines. And sometimes people ask themselves, well, where do I place the form? Should I place the form close? Should I place it back here, up, down? You know, where are all the places that I'm going to put the forms? So the important thing to notice um, is to take note of is form flow. And form flow. You know, you won't know where the forms are if you don't know how the forms flow. Form flow is the general trend of the placement of the forms. So if you look at my arm, for instance, right, this arm which is going towards the camera, there's a general trend of the of, of these forms moving back, 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 and back into space. So when you're thinking about things like, like juxtaposition of forms, you have to be aware of how these forms flow from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. It's the great chain, the great Andrew Ryan chain of forms. So, next up is action. Now, you know, you might be trying to draw, oh, which way should the forms go? Should they go into the camera? Should they go away from the camera? Which direction should we put all these forms? So we need our action. And our action can be person trying to you know, shoot a gun. All right, there, there's an action. That's an action. You know, trying to do something. Um, you know, like, like, you know, it could, it could be, you know, adjusting their glasses. They can be, you know, taking, taking a drink. Um, they could be, you know, uh, uh, playing, you know, a musical instrument, or, um, you know, they could be, you know, eating, eating something. You know, they could be eating a, you know, a cheeseburger. You know, these are all actions. So if we have our action, you know, the person is, is, is trying to do something, we can see the flow. We have to develop a flow that will tell that action. And last, lastly, you know, people get into these terrible drawing slumps where they don't know what they should make people do. They don't know, should I have a... I've, I've drawn millions of guys shooting guns. I'm tired of having guys shooting guns all the time. It's, it's, and they're always shooting guns like this. They're always doing things the same way. You know, I'll just use a generic pose for this this action. And the thing about generic is that generic is what happens when you run out of ideas. We try to avoid generic because that's it just gets boring. So how do we avoid generic? Well, if we can't think about what actions to use, we need intent. We won't know what's going on. We don't know what actions to use if we don't know what our character is trying to do. So we can make it so... Instead of the person, you know, always shooting a gun, the person could simply be trying to kill somebody off screen. 
They could do it with a gun, you know, shooting off screen. They could do it with, you know, a bow and arrow. They could do it with, you know, a thrown spear. They could, or, or a dagger. They can do it with a, a sword and, you know, use overhand chop, you know, side slashes. You know, a person could be, you know, the, 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 these are things that a person is trying to do. A, a person can be trying to get someone's attention, you know. They can be waving. They could be shouting. You know, these... You know, when you have an intent, it gives you ideas for actions. And, you know, there's there's so many ways to get your intents, you know, through. So we try and think, what are the actions that, what action are we going to use to, to fulfill the character's intent? So, you know, uh, looking, looking here, you know, we have, you know, intent, action, form, flow, form, placement, line, placement, and line quality. So let's start a drawing. Let's, let's start a drawing using these, these things. So the first thing I'm going to think about in terms of intent, um, well, hang on, wait a second. In terms of line placement, I'm going to draw a frame because I would like all of these lines to somehow wind up somewhere within this page. Frames are important. All right, four minutes remaining. Um, what's this person going to do? What's his intent? Satisfy his hunger. He's hungry. I'm hungry. Damn it. All right, fine. So what's he going to do? He's going to he's going to get something from the fridge. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I want to get something from the fridge. So I will draw a fridge to get something from. Alright. And maybe it would be good if... What's the first thing I do when I try and get something from the fridge? Well, I gotta just... I'm probably gonna open up that fridge and stare inside and, you know, let all the cold air out and, you know, just trying to decide. So yeah, let's let's use that action. Let's, let's do that. Let's... Now, what's the form flow I'm gonna need? Well, first of all, I'm going to have to figure out where am I going to put his head. I'll put his head here. He's looking inside. Somehow I'm going to have to place his feet so he can support himself. I guess I'll have one hand up here on the door. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to think. And he's trying to decide. So I'll have him scratching his head. Now I can figure out, well, he, to, to make all this work, I have to make him lean forward. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to move those feet back a bit. So there we are. Figure out the flow of his legs and the flow of his arms. You know what? I'm not really trying to draw his arms or legs. I'm trying to say where in space do they belong. This is the, the now I can place the forms. Over top of the, the flow. Almost done. How am I going to have that hand resting there? There. Looks good. I'm satisfied with that. So this is a great way to be able to tell stories. Tell a story, to, you know, show a character's intent in just one drawing. You know, we can have other people trying to satisfy their hunger. You know, maybe... Here we are, we've got a nice French loaf. And we have someone scarfing it down. Maybe he's... He's gotten to the food before the other guy has. So, now yeah, put his shoulders in there. I'm trying to figure out his form flow. Let's also have him leaning forward. Have him sit cross-legged. So I need, you know, he's sitting down. He's resting and eating. Now I can, once I have the form flow. Oh, I got a minute to go. I can start to. <laughs> he's eating. Yay! Okay. And now it's a matter of getting that. But the flow isn't exact. The, the flow wasn't particularly that good, and that's why I'm having a difficult time placing the forms. All right. Good enough. So 
Anyway, I guess I'll catch you guys later.